Well, that's interesting. That one's actually from Novo Mesto instead. So we've got to drive a little bit further to get there, but... I haven't actually been there before, I don't think. So I'm good with that. So we've got 60Ks. We've been on most of these roads already, looks like. I don't actually get to explore all that much, but... Uh, once we get south of the city, maybe there's a bit Go more. Straight. So we get to tick another city off our Balkan exploration, at least. <laughs> Since the community event didn't make us go to every city in the Balkans, interestingly. There we go, 21 out of 30, road to the Adriatics. We'll have a bit more reason to come down here again once Greece releases as well. Is this like the airport or something? Looks like it could turn be. Left and then turn right. Oh, we're delivering all the way over there. That's interesting. That's technically Zurich out in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. Okay. Now, I don't really want to take a mobile crane on that road, but I do want to go on that road <laughs> at some point. Uh, is now a good time to go on this road, perhaps? Alright, well, that's something a little bit different. Drive safe. Drive safe. Well, I think we're going to really struggle to climb those hills, though. That's going to be the real punishing thing with this delivery, is every time I have to slow down. Okay, this time think. Oh, kind of. A bit of a scare there. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Should have just gone around the roundabout. It's clear traffic right until you get to the intersection and then everyone all comes at once. Yep. Heavy traffic for 4.45 in the morning. That's, that's pra practically rush hour, right? In this game, anyway. Why are we not accelerating? It's... Oh, we were still pushing a car. Okay. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize there was still a car stuck in front of my truck. My bad. Vehicle malfunction. Yeah, there we go. So it begins. Oh, I have to be going at least 30 k's an hour for cruise control to engage. I was wondering why I wasn't accelerating. Okay. Cruise control. Outside view. We have a bit of a traffic incident up here, looks like. <laughs> Is there a faster way that I can go through the... Ah, oh, of course you just had to pull out, didn't you? Okay, now I have to slalom. 
keep right, and then exit right. There we go. <laughs> Trucks to the right, apparently. Vehicle malfunction, of exit course. Right. Um, I don't think it matters. I'm just going to go straight through. Thank you very much. I bet it will matter up here where there's the toll booth. Well, we'll find out. Okay, we can cut across at this point anyway. Finding you. Yeah, we wanted to go this way, crunch. We did want to actually do what we were told because it would have been better for our trailer. But never mind. This is all a construction area still. Another case of will they do another update at some point when this is meant to be finished? <laughs> so we can have proper two lanes of tunnels? I hope so. 1991 to 2023 it says, so surely it should have been done by now? It's not 2023 anymore. Okay, so it's a one-off toll at least. You don't pay both ways. Makes sense. It's not a distance. It's just a pay the toll to go through the tunnel. Okay, now we're accelerating a lot more. Never mind. I'll find a new I still feel I should be in a different gear by now, though. Right, we don't really have anywhere that we could go to services at any point between now and the finish so uh, which is a concern given the vehicle malfunctions and also probably I should have an 18 speed gearbox for the hill climb instead of the 12 speed but uh, oh well too late now see the gradient that we're having to go up. This is probably like a, I don't know, 10, 15 degree incline it feels like. Oops. Not going to St. Michael and Magal, okay. And this is the main road, this isn't even the, like, side road that we have opted to go on. It's just going to get even more tough when we turn off up here, I think. I think we'll be jumping into first person view for a lot of the next section anyway. Which means that we do get the better zoom level for seeing the icons. I think we'll just leave it in this one on the outside view as well for now. It is annoying that you lose a lot of the game icons when you zoom out your GPS in this view fair enough that they might they'll be hard to see but you can try and just line them up next to each other Alright, let the slog begin. 
We're going to have gorgeous scenery and we're going to have plenty of time to appreciate it because we will not be going quickly. Once we cross over this valley, I think that's when we start climbing. Nice little town though. Largely industrial looks like, but there's some living areas over there. So there's there's something. Cute little church and everything. At the roundabout, take the second exit. And exit now. now we start going uphill. <laughs> With a long, heavy trailer. What incline is this? Jeez. We're just going to have to take up all of the road going around these bends. If you're on this road, you're not in a rush. So if you have to stop and wait for a big truck to navigate a corner, you just take that time. <laughs> and no one's coming, so I'm actually going to cut this corner to shave off a little bit of distance. There's a waterfall there, a little creek running down the hi hillside. That must get quite swollen in winter, or post-winter rather. That'll be why there's the exposed rocks, I imagine, is because that will be from the floods when snow melts. Oh, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, with a big truck that could. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we need to sleep at some point. Can we just stop in there? That looks nice. That looks like a, a place to stop, right? I'll just park up on the side of the road up here. This is certainly not a road that you would want to tackle if you were actually tired. <laughs> Our ETA is going to be going up gradually, because it wants to think that I can do 70 through here. I can most definitely not. But, looks like we have crested the saddle, and now it'll be downhill, which is also very dangerous. Uphill you're forced to go slowly so it kind of doesn't matter. Downhill you're not. Downhill you have to make sure that you go slowly. What sort of speed run route we could do that would incorporate some of these roads? <laughs> Take a nice wide line around this corner. Uh, ooh, okay, too wide. Did not turn sharply enough. Just as well, the barriers are not destructible in this game. <laughs> Very cute little village. That's why we take these sorts of routes. 
Not because they're fast, but because they're pretty. <laughs> and I'm glad that they put this in the game. Like, yeah, there was a depot further back, so obviously you've got to be able to access that, but having the road through the hills like this... Like, big trucks would not take this road anymore. I guarantee. Well, they certainly shouldn't. You should just take the motorway. But, it's nice that it's an option. <laughs> just because I shouldn't doesn't mean to say I won't. And I'm glad that it exists in the game. I can't remember what other context there was that had a similar sort of thought. I just wish there was also smaller vehicles in the game that you could drive so it wasn't just you driving your truck without cargo to explore these sorts of places more reasonably. But yeah, that, that guy shouldn't be taking cars through here. I mean, that said, like, this is the sort of cargo, a big heavy crane, that you probably would actually take through here. It's not recreational cargo, it's a uh, necessity. If you need a heavy bit of machinery, you're not going to drive it through here, you're going to stick it on truck. So it would still happen that you would get big trucks on these roads. That will they just have to make do with less... Like you're just restricted on the sort of construction that you can do because it's just not feasible to get the sort of equipment up here that you would need. This feels like it's a little bit more accessible though. Bigger buildings, flatter land, broader valley. Ah yep, yeah, I can see the, the other depots. There's Steinbrook, there's the street, forestry depot up here. We have crossed to the other side. Now, we have to sleep, and there is a rest stop up there, so even though it's going to be really inconvenient to get to and get out of again, we're just gonna stop there and take that. Exit now. Take that time. Recomputing. Two gas stations and both on the right side of the road. That's really annoying. Can I fit my trailer in here? Just. Getting out again is going to be a pain. At least it's not articulated. Oops. I do actually need to fill up on gas too, actually, come to think of it. 9pm. Mm, I guess I can keep going. It's one of those cases of do I then want to just sleep through the night instead. Now, how do I get out of here with my trailer? Not sure if I have enough room to keep going back. No, I think I've hit something. Ah, uh, I almost got it into the car park area, but just not quite. Uh, which way do I then take this? This way? Oh, it's just going to go into the bollard again. Other way, this way. We're going to need to sleep again by the time we get out of here. It's going to take us forever. Oh, and just avoid hitting that person's car. We do need to basically back it into the car park in order to then have the angle to get out of here. There we go. I should have just parked my trailer in the gas station or something instead of taking it all the way in here. And speaking of gas stations, I need to fill up again. I burnt a lot of gas getting up that hill. Do I even have the right angle? We'll find out. I can straighten up again once I'm finished. 
All right, let's get out of this sleepy mountain village with this giant trailer. I'm going to cut through this gas station as well, just so I can discover it. And then go through this part of the road here. Ooh, pizza house. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back here anyway for the other depots at some point, but I can take deliveries from those depots to just warp here if I want to. You like quick job warps. And it's still a long way to go, which means we're going to be driving into the night. But hopefully, if we get back to the main roads, then we can start to cut corners and save time and stuff again, instead of losing time by not being able to go the speed limit. Now that we've finished terrorizing these poor people. There was a hotel up here too. That's probably even more annoying to get my trailer in and out of. <laughs> but I could have dropped the trailer on the side of the road, I guess. And there's just a truck stop on the side there. That would have been easier, but... Oop, oh, traffic. Just trying to make the most of being able to speed while I can. But these are not very wide roads, so if there's anyone coming the other way, I'm a bit screwed, because there's not a shoulder or anything to dive off onto to get past. But we'll try our luck as much as we can. Seems most of the traffic seems to be on our lane, thankfully. Long may that last. And looks like we've got a little bit of a hill climb out the other side of the valley up here. station that we're not allowed to visit, interestingly. Okay, yeah, I should have just slept through the night rather than pushing on and driving when it's dark like this really can't see much. Certainly not as much as would be nice to see during the daytime. Let's just go inside.
I do like how they have this separate lane there that I don't have to stop at. <laughs> Just drive straight through and unfortunately then go on to the other side of the tunnel that's not finished yet, but it is nice at least that they've got that there. Now whereabouts in Zurich is this depot going to be is the other thing. It's a case of is this going to be somewhere new or somewhere I've just been three times before. <laughs> Doesn't look encouraging, judging by where it's getting me to go. It's so hoping to go north rather than south. It'd be nice if there was one, if it was in the area that was, um, yeah, to the south. Oh, I mean, we haven't even crossed the border yet, so getting a bit premature. But I'm fairly sure that motorway there is the ring road that we could go north around. I mean, if we get a delivery that goes up to Amsterdam or something, then that would be the way to take it. I guess we'll take a look and see what deliveries are available first, and then if there's a good one I'll take it, if there isn't then I'll just stop and take a break from the stream for a bit and then we can come back and check. Turn left. Turn left. We're nice and wide so we hopefully don't... Okay, we're gonna ruin a sign but... Can I go the other side of this? to discover it and then get back on the correct side again. Okay. Yes, good. Because <laughs> I haven't had to come back this way yet. have to stop anywhere which is nice. They seem to have a much more open border arrangement at this part. Because there was nowhere that I had to stop. Oh I haven't had to go south yet. Oh, that's right, yeah, this one, the depot for this one was in the hills anyway. Now we get to go to a different part of Zurich at least, heading south into the hills again to make our delivery. Now the tricky thing will be, are we going to get good delivery options from the outer depot area? I guess if it hasn't been in the radius previously we've been missing out on the possibilities of where we could take a delivery from down here 
but I'm not sure if that matters. I think it might be a case of our best bet would be to do a service warp into the town again in order to then pick up the delivery radius. We'll have to see whether or not um, where the disc encompasses when we're looking at jobs. I mean, I would like to then just drive back into town from the other side of the road if I could. Because that would discover a little bit more. But then we've got to keep going south at some point as well. But we're getting a little bit more map coverage. Please no one come down this road while I'm jumping the queue. <laughs> These country roads are altogether far too busy at early hours of the morning. Like seriously, 3.20 a.m. and there's this much traffic on the roads? Seems unlikely. Really should be time-based traffic in this game. And now we're on loose surface. I very nearly just crashed into that bridge. We're here. We're here. I'm glad they don't even give me the option of where do you need it. It's it's literally just, yeah, drive straight ahead, dude. <laughs> We're not going to make it. <laughs> and uh, engine malfunctions. Perfect timing. Even this is not a great place to park the trailer like this, quite frankly. There we go. That was rough. <laughs> We had to work for that one. Good work. Yeah, not even satisfactory. Good work. Well, maybe that's the next one up from satisfactory, actually. Oh, we're almost at level 84. Not that it matters. Oh, 7 out of 10. We are 2 hours into the stream and we have done 2 deliveries when I hoped to do more. It's ironic they say, yeah, all jobs have to be at least 200 kilometers or more. As if you have a choice. 